Hey everyone, I wanted to do an update video about this coolant washdown system we've been working on for the last couple years. Uh, I'll just show you what it does, how it works. Um, let's dive in. Here you can see me turning on a garden hose headed towards our assembly. Uh, as you can see, about 99% of the flow uh, comes out of one at a time, and so each one is only on for nine seconds. And what we do with the outlet of each of those is we route them towards these nozzles. We make these in-house. They have 19 angled holes drilled in them. And so the purpose of that is just to push as much debris as possible um, that's directly underneath the nozzle. Uh, so what we do is we route these around the machine. So the goal is to push chips that land directly underneath that nozzle. It makes it so that really you can't have any buildup occur because once every roughly two minutes that nozzle is going to turn back on and so that allows us to keep relatively high pressure at all of the different areas not at once but eventually soon. This is the result whenever I open the door all the chips end up where they're supposed to go. Here's kind of a nightmare scenario um, over at my buddy's shop that we're actually working on doing an install right now. Um, you can kind of just see how bad the chips collect. Here's where we're gonna put the nozzles. We're gonna put four back here in this corner and then similar over on the other side and then do uh, two up front in each of the front corners by the uh, chip conveyor. Here's our VF2. This machine has had the system installed and running the longest of any machine. Um, you can see we kind of just did three in each corner on this. There's a couple of hiding behind the door there, but this machine stays very clean. Here's where the coolant enters the system. Uh, these are backflow prevention fittings. Um, we only modify it by adding a magnet and then we have a reed switch which measures if there's coolant flowing or not. So when the coolant is flowing, that determines if our system is on or off. Whenever the coolant is flowing, that makes it so our motor has power. And you can see how that would cycle here with a 12 volt geared DC motor. So here's everything that comes in a kit. Uh, right here you have your main valve body. It has one inlet, 12 outlets. Comes with uh, all aluminum legs, really strong magnetic feet. Over here we have uh, zip ties. These are used along with the uh, hose wall mounts. Uh, basically it's a way to attach the hose to the wall uh, just using a zip tie. Our recommended way of attaching these hose wall mounts to the wall is actually using this uh, Sikaflex 1A. Um, this stuff is the best. You can get it on McMaster. Um, it, we've tried magnets and we don't like using magnets inside of the machine because um, it tends to attract steel chips. And here we have our 90 degree fittings. And what these do is work in conjunction with these uh, grommets for passing through sheet metal. Um, it's just another way to help you route the hoses around your machine. Here we have the switch, half inch MPT here, standard garden hose fitting here, momentary on off switch, uh, power in and switched power out. Here is the power supply, uh, which will come with one short and one long uh, 12 volt extension wire. So why is a system like this good, right? Um, so this is the only system that I've seen where it cycles the outlet um, and the main benefit of that is that you can hit all of the little nooks and crannies of your machine uh, without doing the alternative, which is the brute force high horsepower method, which I've seen commonly online and stuff. Is there, there are some people who will add a pump or they'll, you know, you could just strap a pressure washer on your machine to clean it if you wanted. There are other downsides to that though. Because um, with these machines, especially the ones that use a chip auger instead of a chip conveyor, uh, in those uh, setups, you're going to pool the machine and you're going to drain your tank into that pool before it can even uh, flow back to the tank. So, so I could sit here and try to convince you that, you know, this is going to save you X amount of time, X amount of dollars, this and that, but I'm not even going to do that. 
this is a quality of life improvement for a shop. That's really what it boils down to. Every time I open the door because the cycle ended and I need to load a new part, the machine's already clean. Um, you know, when I come in here in the morning to drink coffee and I'm dreading cleaning out the machine with a rake and stuff like I used to have to do, um, it's just something that I just don't want to do. It's a mindless task where you can, like, I, I've bumped the tool setter before. I've, you know, you could hurt yourself somehow reaching inside the machine. Um, it can also damage the machine if you let chips build up enough behind the weight covers and such. Um, you can really do damage to the machine if the operator isn't paying attention and cleaning it out a lot. But anyways, it's a quality of life improvement more than any financial thing. You know, it's just like I have a smile on my face every time I open the machine because I just know that, you know, I made it better somehow. Um, so that's it. Before I go, we got a new Dusan lathe. Uh, so we're going to do not only some new parts for this on there, but also all sorts of cool stuff. So be sure to check out our lathe content that we're going to have coming out soon. So thanks, guys.